Hello, this is Jake from Auditor Sense. Welcome back to Audit Trails. On this episode, we're going to be going over NIST 853 Control AC3 Access Enforcement, and we're going to be focusing on the moderate level. So, AC3 Access Enforcement. The description of the control reads, the information system enforces approved authorizations for logical access to information and system resources in accordance with their applicable access control policies. So what does that mean? What we're really looking for is, does the organization implement and enforce their access control policies as they are written? So we're looking for enforcement mechanisms between a user and an object. So in this case, a user could be the individual or it could be a process on behalf of the individual and an object within the information system. So an object could be a specific device, it could be um, files or records, it could be processes or programs. In addition to the relationship between a user and an object, Access enforcement mechanisms can also be employed at the application level. So whether that be applications that your devices are hosting for business purposes or anything like that, that is also something you should look for when assessing this specific control. So when you're performing an audit on this control, there's specific evidence that you want to be looking for. So the key is, are the enforcement mechanisms in place as they are stated within your access control policies. That's the key. So that can be evidence of approved authorizations via screenshots. So an end-to-end -end process walkthrough of requesting access to something, that access being approved, and then that access being provisioned end-to-end -end as it states within your access control policies. So a lot of organizations will provide screenshots of that happening. Another way to do that would be conducting an interview and they just walk you through the process. So like I said, here's the access being requested, here's the approvals, and then lastly, here's the, pr the accurate provisioning of that access. Another solution is um, an identity and access management solution so that they can have proper account management. So whether that be um, role-based access controls or identity-based access controls or, or anything like that, as long as the policies within the access control policy are being enforced. One of a, a lot of other companies will, will utilize it like I said, is a role-based access control matrix. So this will really deem what an individual has access to based on their given role within an organization. So it goes a long way in making sure that the right individual has the right amount of access without it being too much access. So that being said, what I wanna jump into is the NIST guidance page on, on the NIST government website. So if you go to um, the NIST controls, you'll go into the AC family and then you'll see that it's broken down into several different controls. So let's jump into AC3 here. Here at Auditor Sense, we like to focus on the moderate baseline. So as you can see, there's a low, moderate, and high. The moderate, there's no, no enhancements required. So to satisfy this control in a moderate baseline, you're, you're just looking for the organization to meet this control description, which we went over at the bottom earlier in this episode. It's really, are they enforcing their policies? That's what we're looking for. And more importantly, we're looking for evidence of that enforcement. And along with any other, con most controls in, in the NIST uh, website, there are controls and enhancements. Like I said, these are not required at the moderate baseline, um, but it is something that a lot of organizations will, will look to because implementing any of these will, will only enhance your information security program holistically. So that's all for today on AC3. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks.